Hello friends. Happy first vlog of 2022. Happy New Year. Very excited for 2022. Hope lots of good things are to come for all of us. We are about to go grocery shopping for some healthy breakfast thing. We also have a partner for today's video, so I will be partnering up with Nordstrom and BP. So I'm gonna do a little outfit, get ready with me, with you guys, and I wanted to talk to you guys about that because so I'm just in my robe right now This is actually from BP at Nordstrom and I'm obsessed with this little robe I've been wearing it non-stop it has pockets and it's kind of like a lightweight flannel. I love that it feels like Holiday it feels wintry with the print, but it's not super heavy because I do get hot a lot I just did my skincare and I'm about to get ready for the day but like i said we're gonna go grocery shopping looking forward to getting our lives kind of more on track in these next couple of weeks as one does during the new year i feel like new year's resolutions are kind of silly because nobody i mean not nobody but a lot of times we're just like really motivated for them the first like couple of months of the year and then we completely forget what our resolutions and stuff were but I, I still like it. I think it's like a good way to reset and think about what you're doing and what you want to be doing. So I get into it. And I feel like everyone probably has similar goals and aspirations for the new year. Just getting healthy, getting happy, getting things right, getting things in order. So one of those things that's important to us is eating healthy and having like a better routine. So those are things that we're gonna be working on over the next couple of weeks. And we're gonna go on a breakfast specific grocery trip today because breakfast is a really hard meal for me to get a hang of. I honestly don't like a lot of breakfast and I just don't feel like eating breakfast a lot of the times and I get really bored with breakfast. So we're gonna try to find something that works for us. I am putting on makeup today and getting dressed as a part of my New Year's resolutions as well because that's one thing I just wanna be more mindful of going into the new year and just in general is just having my life more together and doing things more intentionally and taking like pride and going and running little errands and stuff so i actually got inspired because i saw tiktok and the girl was like if you want to be that girl you have to start showing up as that girl and she was just going to trader joe's but um she was like putting on a little lip gloss and a cute outfit and it doesn't have to be much but it's just about like taking a little bit of pride in the small things and romanticizing your life i think i'm just slapping on a little bit of makeup but i'm gonna put on a cute outfit even though i'm just going to whole foods to go breakfast grocery shopping i still think it's fun to do that with a little bit more intention and i think it's gonna be a good confidence boost and all those good things i finish up my makeup and then we'll put on a cute little outfit okay so I did my makeup. I have like a hair scarf on right now. Nothing crazy, just like a little tinted moisturizer. Where should I set this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a little natural makeup. Now I have the base of my outfit. I'll show you guys. Okay, so just so you guys can see the base of my outfit. These are like split pants. I actually own these in brown too. And every time I wear them, I get so many compliments on them. The brown pair I have, I have them in a size extra small. And they were actually a tiny bit big for me. So I believe I got these in an extra, extra small. Or these are a small. Let me check. Oh, okay. I lied. Those, the brown ones are small and they were a tiny bit big, so I got a size extra small in these ones and they fit perfectly. They have pockets, they're super comfy, they're just like a nice little trouser. And they're really fun with like a graphic tee or just a basic like this. So this is just a little like cream turtleneck, this is a perfect uh, layering piece. Got this in a size extra small too, I think. Um, and it's ribbed. And then I think I'm going to wear these shoes today. They're like little shearling loafers. You guys them up close. 
like we're we're being cute we're being put together also i feel like it's worth referencing that girl is obviously different for every person for me that girl that i want to be and who i need to sh start showing up more as is just like getting dressed to do random little stuff like this like getting dressed in a cute outfit because sometimes i just don't take pride in that and i feel like it's actually really not good for my confidence and stuff so this is my base that i'm going in with and then i'm trying to decide if i want to keep it like more neutral i got this really cool like little corset piece one of these you know that you put under the boobies I feel like this is actually a little much for the grocery store though so I'm not gonna do that now but it is really cute and then this beanie I've been wearing non-stop little yellow beanie and then I have a yellow handbag and I think I'll need a coat as well. Cute. I'll show you guys in there too. Okay, so I'm gonna go pick out a coat to put with this. Not sure. Maybe just like a little teddy coat. I think we should do mush. Okay. Try out mush. Some mush. Okay, I want to have, my goal is to have three breakfast options a week. Okay. Because I feel like we usually just have one for a whole week. And then you get burnt out. And, yeah, or even two. It's not enough variety yeah. for me. Okay. So mush is one option, which is kind of like a cold, sweet option. Yes. So then I also think I need a warm, salty option. A warm, salty option. What does that look like? Potatoes? Hash browns? Yeah, but how do I make that more nutritious? Hash browns and avocado and mushrooms and spinach. Okay, I like that. A little healthy okay, hash like brown that. stir fry. Now we need one more option. That's probably like really convenient. Should it be smoothies. Oh, mush. <coughs> mush is really convenient. Yeah, I just think that a smoothie in the winter is not sounding good. Yeah, it doesn't sound what great. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, hello, hello, sir. Hello, we're here. Oh, I forgot to eat mine. Oh yeah, something that I learned also recently on TikTok. If you don't know, I literally learned everything there. Um, something that's really good for anti-aging for your skin. First thing in the morning and last thing before you go to bed is to eat some healthy fats. So like nuts or olive oil or something. So we've been eating macadamia nuts in the morning and at night. I mean, we were doing that for like three days straight and yeah. then it kind of fell off. So we need to figure that out again. But... <laughs> I love my gaming nuts, so I'm okay with that. They're so, so good. And they're back on they're really head. good for first thing in the morning and at night because they're not too drying. Yeah, they're so bad. They're just so expensive is their biggest downfall. A little pricey. What? Okay, maybe like a piece of toast is our yeah. next, next best option with peanut butter or almond butter and banana. Okay. So like whole wheat bread. Yeah. Sounds good. That was like those toasts we were making when we got back from Europe. Yeah, we need to romanticize our lives. <laughs> it's so hard to stay on track. Okay, I think that's pretty good. <sighs> yeah, it's like we need a we need a reset, a new year every three months or something. So that Literally, we that's what I'm thinking. Inspired. We gotta set our goals, but it's just gotta be like two month goals, and then you yeah. keep coming back to it. The other day we sat down and wrote out our oh. <laughs> wrote out. The cameraman, it was just turning, it was just turning over to you because I knew you're about to have your monologue. <laughs> we were writing out um, like business goals and stuff, and Clayton made the suggestion suggestion to only do it for two months at a time and then check back in 
which I like because I think it makes it more specific. And for the next two months, we set our goals, but we're going to check back in in a month. So then yeah. it's like just keeping you. You just stay on top of it. Yeah. And keep looking at it. Yeah. So maybe that's what we should do for our personal goals. I mean, we have like over we have overall goals for 2022, but maybe like we check in on them. Yeah. See how things are changing. But things aren't important to us after yeah. one month <laughs> or yeah. whatever you know in 2022 we want to get our house organized yeah. well house it is, is organized already but we want to purge a lot yeah we want to like clean and purge and have less i've been feeling this for like stuff. a while yeah we have been feeling this way for a while but it's a big undertaking that we haven't made a ton of time yeah. for which is also another goal to just make more time for things that we want to do and relax more which probably so many people have that goal right now yeah. because we're all just wrapped up in hustle culture which no doubt. i do still like to work in hustle but yeah you do this is it's hard though like the first thing for sure like getting our garage back like in a because yeah. right now it's pretty much all void yeah. fulfillment so we're gonna probably like reorganize the garage and make it void fulfillment and we want to be able to work out again in the garage maybe even park the car back in the garage right like kind of have that space back because mm -hmm. if you guys remember like before void we used our garage a lot for working out <laughs> it was really easy to you know just so go nice. in and out of there yeah it's a nice space um, so that's a big goal is to clean out also just decorating <laughs> clean out yeah decorate like it takes so long to decorate a house we've lived there for two years or not yet year and a half a year and a half yeah we've like we went pretty hard at the beginning but then like nothing is like finished like the decorating right. is not finished no and so we've just been putting stuff off for a while like i love decorating it's one of my favorite things to do it makes me really happy and I've just put it off for so long and I really want to complete that and yeah. just get it done and enjoy it in our house. So over the next couple of weeks, maybe a couple months, I'm hoping to have everything dialed in at our house yeah. and then post. Like styled. Yeah. Like and then we, we'll post our home tour because yeah, uh, we, do a home tour. we haven't done one since the MTV house tour. Yeah. Like I feel like you guys saw a lot last year, we were like ordering all these different pieces of furniture and changing out chairs and, but like even now, I mean, I think the furniture is probably dialed in. I, I think we're probably yeah. pretty good on the furniture. No, I don't think we need any new furniture. No, but I think now it's dialing in the styling, what's on the shelves and stuff like that. That's gonna occur a lot on the vlog for the next couple of weeks. A lot of decorating and styling. We'll take you guys along for that because we know you enjoy that process too. And then, yeah. what else? What else are we feeling? I'm gonna get fit. Yeah, we need to get back I'm gonna get on fit track. For sure. We, um, well, we haven't worked out for a couple of weeks actually because at one no, point- No, like a month now probably, at least. Yeah. Uh, at one point, it was just taking away more than it was adding to our lives. Like, it was putting yeah. more stress than it was relieving. So, I know it seems kind of counterintuitive, but it was bad for our mental health. <laughs> it was just another time. thing to worry about at the time. Yeah, and, and like, we still moved our bodies. Yeah, we still would go on walks, and we, we eat healthy, so, like, we weren't just completely yes. letting our bodies go. No. But... But that's also something that we actually wanted to touch on yeah. um, because over the past couple of weeks and months, like since we went to Europe and stuff, we have reintroduced some dairy into mm -hmm. our diet and we haven't like talked about it that much just because there is like a stigma, I feel like, yeah, and not, um, I don't know, there's just it's just weird we used to eat like fully plant-based i mean we've always eaten some seafood because if you guys watch our um video on how we eat like what was that well, well, three years ago yeah, that was a long time ago. three or four years ago um we always had some animal protein through seafood right. um that stemmed from like going to a holistic doctor when i was dealing with some female health issues which i do still deal with some female health issues um so we've always incorporated a little bit of fish uh we never really cook fish at home which is still the same 
but um, and also in that video we talked about when we would travel and stuff we would like to experience cultures and um, their cuisine so we would still have some dairy and stuff if there was like eggs in a cake yeah. or something we would have that so it's basically not that different we're still eating that way we just have incorporated a little bit more dairy in our day-to-day -day yeah. life and I just wanted to talk about that because well we get a lot of questions and comments that are yeah. like oh you guys are eating dairy or whatever so we're just right. kind of people seem to be very invested slash sometimes inappropriately concerned about <laughs> our food intake which i'm sure everyone is coming from a good place for sure but i just do think that it's not okay to like criticize or comment on someone's diet because yeah in relationship with food yeah like diet and relationship with food are so personal and they're also super important in your like personal ecosystem right. i don't even know if that's the right word but <laughs> personal eco i mean that that works i just think that it's so inappropriate and uncalled for to comment negatively on someone's food choices because something different works for everyone and like Clayton was saying relationship with food is a super fragile topic and you don't yeah. ever know someone's relationship with food so I just don't want to see people telling other people what to eat and how to eat because that's just kind of a sacred thing that you shouldn't yeah. go to I guess so yeah that is a little bit about like our diet update and then moving our bodies more update yeah um, and also along with the diet thing that we always get questions on is alcohol or relationship mm -hmm. with alcohol and if you watched our video from years ago now two years ago probably mm -hmm. uh, we said why we don't really drink alcohol we never said we were sober right. or we never have drinks we said and it kind of goes with the seasons of time and how yeah. we're feeling maybe the holidays we're drinking more and recently like we've been having a couple cocktails here and yeah. there and just kind of enjoying the season we and enjoying our vacations and stuff like that everything in our life open-ended yeah. so nothing is set in stone the way we eat the way we consume alcohol the way we dress the way we dress <laughs> if we want to get married if we want to have kids if we want to get a dog if we want to move like i don't really say anything is yeah. forever for me i feel like we leave things very open-ended and when we share these things with you guys we're just sharing them how we feel in that moment yeah and how we feel in that period of our life yeah and just letting you guys know because if if like when we shared that we didn't drink alcohol like there were so many people that were like oh my gosh i don't like to drink that much either yeah. and we still aren't like we're not going out and partying at bars no. or anything i will we're, never take a shot we'll just have like a couple of drinks at home or maybe out at dinner we'll have a drink yeah. or something like that and you've that. gotten into like making craft cocktails yeah. at home more is just like a hobby yeah. of making them than it is right. like drinking them. oh yeah and like like i've started collecting bourbon a little bit from hunter's influence and stuff like that like it's just kind of like a hobby i'm not like going and buying a cheap handle at the store and chugging it on a friday night no so i mean as human beings the point is kind of to evolve and not to be stagnant so obviously we're always going to be changing and evolving as humans so yeah. we enjoy sharing where we're at when we're there and we enjoy bringing you guys along for it so this is where we're currently at and thank you for joining us and if you guys think there's if you think you want us to expand on this more we can do like another like yeah a uh, full video on that if you guys yeah. are interested like our diet and whatever yeah. but, but yeah but so, yeah. so we'll, we'll have some some life changes coming in 2022. Yeah. 2022 also. is going to be getting fit. Cleaning, organizing. Decorating. Decorating. And cooking more because like during the holidays we just yeah. ate out, ate out, ate out. And I, th I think like what Delaney was just saying, like we need life changes. Like we're at a point in our life where we, I think we're like ready for like a change of Big some sort. change. Big change. But it's like we've we've now lived in our house for like a year and a half and we're settled in like we've Something's moved we we like to move i don't know we don't really know yet it's like so short and we're just like mm, we need to do something we don't know if it's moving or whatever but we're trying to figure out like Maybe what it's we're adding a member to our family what we're craving what we need something for clean to nurture yeah cancers like to nurture so 
maybe it's deleting social media and moving <laughs> to another country. Bye. <laughs> no, who knows? Who knows? But, who knows? Really but we're though. we're trying to sort that out, and that's all kind of that's kind of all part of doing these things around the house evolving. and evolving and stuff like that. Okay, we're gonna go grocery shopping and we will do a little haul maybe. When we get home, yeah. Yeah. Or instead of a haul, we could just like show the breakfast like each time we make them because a haul might be kind of boring. All right, first breakfast adventure. We actually didn't do the toast route. We decided we we're gonna oh, try yeah. bagels instead. So we got Dave's, we got Dave's, ones. Killer Dave's. Um, whole Killer Dave's, cinnamon raisin remix. Yeah, and then we put almond butter and banana and made like a little sandwich. We're only doing a half. I don't think we need that much. I don't know, we'll see. We're gonna go on a walk and we will, once we edit this, we'll have eaten this, so we'll put a rating of what this breakfast was. I'll take a bite for you guys. Mmm. Good bagel. Mm-hmm. Soft. What's the rating? A little dry. Mmm. We could put butter maybe too. Mm-hmm. i give it an 8 though. Okay. 8 out of 10. We'll take it. 80%. They're above average. Above oh, average. Okay, one of the things, we didn't make this breakfast, but this is like our favorite. This is another one. Huh? This is another one. This is our favorite out, like healthy breakfast. treat breakfast. I'd say it's our favorite out breakfast too, right? Yeah. We so, don't have a breakfast spot that we go to for like savory food. Mm, Bagels. Some, yeah. Potato. But it's not, I feel like this is better. Better, better for sure. So I think we've shared it on the vlog before, but I'm not sure. I think we definitely have. We get this from Active Culture and we wanted to share it because we love it so much, but also you could make this at home. Yeah. We just don't because I, I don't want to ruin it. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like a treat. Like when you bring home those items or when you try to make an item that you normally get out. It's yeah, like, it's not the same. So anyways, the rundown is it's cooked quinoa on the bottom. It's not hot though. It's just, it's a like cold or room temperature. Cold quinoa, yeah. Cold. Um, and then it has granola, walnuts, blueberries, bananas, cinnamon, and agave. Yep. And then you take almond milk and you put it on top. And it is the best texture. Like I'm a big texture eater. And... I live for the texture of this. Major texture. It's like an explosion of good textures, and the flavors are really good too. It's so and good. I give this a 100 out of 10. What, literally 100. I used to not really like this. Mm -hmm. Remember, at first you used to get it, and I would get like their little, mm -hmm. like Southwest Bowl thing. Mm -hmm. He always told me around what I like. Mm -hmm. Food wise, mm -hmm. especially. Delicious, guys. 100 out of 10. Mm. Okay, guys. This is looking slightly intimidating. I mean, oatmeal is not meant to be a beautiful thing, right? Yeah. That looks kind of rough, though. Are you grossed out? Yeah, well, it looks like that much right now. You Very were mush. you were like a huge advocate. I for was mush. a huge advocate for mush. <laughs> advocate. Advocate. I was a huge advocate for mush. Advocate. Okay. Morning. Morning, Morning. from the mush monsters. So good. My little baby. Ready. Tastes better than it look. Presentation. We're giving it a one. <laughs> yeah. Presentation of a one. It looks a little. Oh, why'd you go so big? <laughs> Again, it's like the protein powder in it. You taste that chalkiness? Mm hmm. I don't like that. <laughs> you? Wait, did you give it the reading already? We've only done a presentation. I'm gonna give it a four. Mm. Generous or bad? 
bad, but I'm not far off. I almost said three. It's not that good. Honey mush. I prefer at home oatmeal. I mean, it's great for being nice and convenient, but yeah, our if you don't better. like the way it tastes, that's not gonna work. I don't really like the texture. The the um, vanilla in that tastes really good. It tastes like I'm eating ice cream when I just taste the vanilla part. Mm -hmm. But the texture and then some other stuff going on is just not hitting for me. I think you're gonna keep chugging it, but I'll keep chugging it. Um, four out of ten for me. How do you? What about you? Five. We're just having a party. We're having a dancing party. We're cleaning. We feel good. We're purging. Alexa didn't understand the assignment. Alexa, turn it down. Alexa, turn off. It feels really good. Now we're in the dark closet. Going into the new year, purging, getting rid of things because, you know, things hold energy too so this is like the worst lighting of my entire life immediately no but oh well things hold energy and i always think of that because like when you cut your hair it can release some of the energy that you were carrying whenever you had that hair so then you cut it and then you remove it so getting rid of things is also an energy cleanse i feel like where should you guys live in the closet I'm really today. so Getting rid of things is great and I'm deciding what things I should keep and what I should get rid of. Also a side note, sometimes I sell my clothes and we always bring donations to the women's shelter. This is just literally the worst life that's going on. Could you be over here? But yeah, we always donate things to the women's shelter as well, and I've always had a lot of clothes. Clothes have always been one of my... This needs to be washed. It's literally dirty. I've always had a lot of clothes. That is how I ended up being a fashion influencer, because I've always loved clothes. So, it should come to no surprise that I have a lot of clothes, and I'm always trying to... I think get rid of this... I'm always trying to purge and simplify my wardrobe, but because fashion is a huge part of my job, that can be really hard to do. So in, oh my God, you guys, I thought that was a spider, FML, piece of fuzz, just freaked me out. I am such a basket case right now. Trying to decide what to keep and what to get rid of. I'm trying to be a little stricter about things. If I really haven't worn them in a long time or, you know, just being more honest with myself. Because the trouble with me is, first of all, I do get kind of attached to things. And they'll remind me of a person or a time in my life. And then I'll want to hold on to it because of that. Like, everything my mom or my grandma has ever given me, I pretty much probably still have because I'm like, but my grandma got it for me or my mom got it for me. And I just get emotionally attached to that stuff. So, I'm trying to be better about that because, obviously, I think memories with people are more important than holding on to material possessions. So, I have to cut 
the emotional ties sometimes and just be ready to appreciate other ways of honoring people in my life, I guess, or times in my life and moments in my life. So I'm trying to be trying to be good about that. It's a good challenge for me in 2022 and also something else I need to be better about in my closet is simplifying. I'll, I'll have like right here in my white section, I have, I don't know how many pieces that are basically the same pieces. I have a bunch of plain white tank tops, I have a bunch of plain white t-shirts and it just doesn't really seem to make sense that I need literally all of them. I'm going to try to be better about simplifying that the more things I can get rid of right now the better I'm gonna feel so I'm just really pushing myself and simplify purge renew that's what I'm going for oh and one other thing that we are gonna do is transfer some summer clothes to the attic and like switch those out during season so that there is more breathing room in my closet. I don't know why we never thought of that before. I guess this is the first time we've had an attic, so we're new attic people. But I'm um, just putting things in like airtight bins so obviously they don't get messed up from um, I just can't get rid of this. My mom gave it to me and I literally was on it. Sorry. Airtight bins. So we can avoid moths and bugs and stuff. Alright, I've entered the chat. <laughs> I'm entering the chat. I was telling you guys it's hard for me to get rid of stuff sometimes. So Clayton is going through. I'm making my my selection. Yeah, he's he's grazing through and saying what he thinks I should get rid of. That's really low. Um, which is actually really helpful to me because I don't There's know. Another, another set of nice, lens on it. Yeah, it's a nice, um, hopeful opinion to me. So, love that. What about this? That can go. You're right. Same deal. I'm doing good. It's good. I'm just like, if I see stuff that you haven't worn in mm -hmm. a while like or like. Or if I don't, if it's not my favorite. Mm, this is your time to. This is my time to shine. Yeah. Although you look good and everything, so. Everything's my favorite. Love you. That's a nice piece. Yeah. Does it keep remember? Yeah, are they okay in here? Should we put them in the. Oh, that's what we need to go through. The doors. Yes. Yes, girl. Alright, we did such a good job on the clean out. I got. Tons of space over on my side now and down below. Delaney's areas all have room in the you can move the hangers. You can move the hangers. That's that's big news. Even in the blacks, like this is all of our extra hangers now. Blacks can move, colors can move, plenty of hangers, tans, a little bit more sketchy. A lot of tans, but it's kind of a mixture of stuff. So, more items there. And then this is all donations. We're going to take this to a local shelter and get this stuff donated. So, the closet cleanout was a success. Good job, babe. Good job. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the things that Clayton and I want to tackle in 2022, and just in general, we've been meaning to do this, but you know, the new year always seems like a good time to check some things off your to-do list, is finishing decorating our house. There's literally smooth jazz playing on the Alexa too. I just turned it off on my computer, but it's on Alexa. So one of the areas that we feel like needs it the most, Alexa, pause is our bedroom we went for just like a really plain bedroom look for a while which i liked 
but it just feels a little too empty and airy and i'm really addicted to change anyways so yeah i want to switch it up and do things that are a little bit heavier i want to add some contrast in here and some like depth i guess so I have this folder on my computer of a bunch of links that I put together for things that I would think things that I think would look good in our bedroom. So I just brought that in here and I'm just envisioning what they would look like in the room because I feel like that is the best way for me to actually pull the trigger on things and hopefully end up ordering things that I like and that workout and stuff i gotta get my books off of my nightstand because they're not the vibe and they're making it hard for me to envision also have a little chapstick but yeah that's what i'm that's what i'm doing so stay tuned for home updates in 2022 more interior decorating I'm telling you I'm feeling so motivated to just get this kind of stuff done make space in our lives for doing this because that's really the problem is we always want to do this and we just never make time for it pretty much so we were just running some errands and we stopped into this home decor store juxtaposition you got good stuff really cute it's Pretty pricey. Very pricey. So a lot of times when I go in there, I'll like take pictures of things that I fall in love with concept wise and then go like research if I can get one off Etsy or something that's similar. But if it's reasonably priced, like I love to support a local business, but some of the stuff is just like crazy. But I got this little cutting board, this little black cutting board and I'm gonna kind of style our kitchen a little bit, which didn't really need it that badly, but I just felt inspired to do it, so here I am. We don't have an island in our kitchen, which would be really fun to style, which would be like the best thing to style, but we do have a little bit of counter space, so I'm just gonna work with what I got. Also in our bedroom, we're going with like kind of a green accent theme. So I got this little match striker. I guess that's what they're called. To put somewhere on there, styled out. I've had these little salt and pepper thingies for a while and I really like them. But I saw this one and it's wooden with a little gold spoon and I was obsessed with the idea of using the spoon to get out the seasoning. I just feel like that's such a fun little thing and it's a perfect way to sort of romanticize your life instead of getting salt and pepper out a different way. So, call me crazy, but I'm in top. I'm gonna put it on the little black tray. Marty making a mess. It's literally so cute. I'm obsessed. Okay, love you. And then what else was I gonna do? Oh yeah. Okay, I think I need to get I think I need to get a new spoon holder and a new flat uh, what is this thing called? A uh, freaking utensil holder because these just feel a little chewy or something to me. Chewy is not a nice word. I take it back. I think I need a new one of those that's a little more rustic feeling. This is just too cluttered over here. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but maybe we could use one of those. Cute. Kind of nice. Um, also, where's that one picture that we thrifted? Would it be weird to put a picture behind it? Is that weird? Is it weird? Or is it cute? Wait. 
He's definitely feeling like it's weird. I think it's a little too small. Mm -hmm. Just like you're cooking right there, what if your spaghetti splatters all over your heart? It's, these are too tall. If I made these shorter, it might work. It's just like cute. Like it just makes the kitchen, I'm a terrible cameraman, a little homier. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I see it. TBD, but just a little kitchen counter styling fun. Need a, need like more stuff on here. Okay, so last night I began the process of reorganizing our garage. We're gonna start working out, excuse my hair, holy crap. Wow. I'm in a cup of Earl Grey right now. But we're gonna start working out again in our garage and we needed to get it kind of reorganized. As you guys know, we were fulfilling all the void orders out of here and we still plan to do that, but we wanted to make room for our garage again. So I'll show you guys what I've done so far. Started on this last night, like spent like a couple hours on it, trying to get it all kind of figured out. But this is where the Boyd storage and everything was. Um, I've kind of cleared out these shelves and made piles for donation, piles for trash, stuff like that, just to kind of kind of cleanse out the garage a little bit. As you guys know, like garages kind of just gather stuff and attract kind of random stuff that you don't really need. So I'm trying to like purge a lot of it. But I moved the Boyd storage over to here and our little fulfillment table to here and the desk now is in this corner. It used to be like right here in front of the shelving, but it kind of has a, it's a perfect fit right over there. So move that over there. So this is gonna be all Boyd fulfillment for now. And then over here, this shelf is gonna be gone and I'm gonna put the gym back over in this area. We don't need that other fulfillment table, so I'll get rid of that. And this will be all gym again, if you guys remember that. We were working out in here with Robbie last, uh, like last year, really. And then I got my snowboard stuff um, from my parents' house the other day just to have down here. I'll probably put this up in our attic along with some of these boxes, which are our uh, Christmas decorations and our fall decorations. We have a big attic, so we'll just store that up there. This chair and stuff is gonna go back in the house once the Christmas decorations come down. The bike will just be like a movable object in here, so that will kind of move around. I'm really happy with the progress I've made so far. It's an absolute mess right now, so I'm gonna try to kind of wrap it up this morning or at least get a lot of the trash out and the, what do you call it, donations taken. Get that out of here. Kind of just keep organizing. I've been having fun just trying to make things, like you wanna make things fit, but you also want them to be in the right spot. Like I was really working on the laundry stuff because it all, to me, made sense in a certain way. So you just kind of have to look at it and kind of move stuff around. Like literally last night I would pick stuff up, put it in one corner, move it, put it in another corner. I cannot believe my hair. I haven't showered yet this morning. Wow. It's getting long too. It's a long mop on me. All right, but I'm gonna get back to this.
right, so here is the progress I made on the garage yesterday. I need to go to the storage, or not the storage, the donation center, take all those donations in. I already filled up our trash can, so I have some more trash I need to take out. But I got all the Boyd stuff organized over there, put up like my snowboard stuff over there that I just got back. Um, but got it kind of pretty much dialed in. And then here's where our gym's gonna be again. I need to just get that stuff in order and kind of clean and sweep again in here. It's gonna be big once I can take uh, this stuff to the donation center, which I'll probably do that today, and take this stuff out. I kind of just need to get it all emptied. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we got our garage back, which is huge, huge plus. Clayton is currently editing this vlog a little bit that you guys are watching. And I am going to start working on our schedule for the week. And I'm also going to share this little routine that we've been working on for a little while. I mean, obviously everything is just crazy with the holidays and there's not a ton of routine for probably anyone. So we did this like right in between Christmas and Thanksgiving, I think, trying to find a little bit of refuge from chaos of the holidays so we have something to work with here but with routine i feel like for us anyways we're constantly building off of it and we're never actually this is not stable enough but oh my god oh my god i am the sketchiest person i know and that's annoying, that's an annoying characteristic. Okay, <clears throat> so with routine and scheduling, they're obviously always ever changing a bit. So I think you kind of just go with the ebbs and flows, what's working for you, what you need to prioritize and things like that. But I wanted to share this little hack because I do get a lot of questions about organization and productivity and things like that because those are things I'm really passionate about. And I'm a huge list person. I love writing everything down. I wanted to share this because when Clayton and I were kind of going through this turmoil of no routine, to us personally, it felt very unfulfilling to have no form of routine really and I think that stems from we weren't going to the gym which really is a huge part of routine that makes us feel like we have a routine we don't have a normal job having a nine to five I know has its struggles of course and we're so grateful for our flexibility and everything in this career but it also lacks so much structure that it can be very chaotic feeling and as much as Clayton and myself love exploring and freedom and flexibility we also crave routine in a lot of ways too so all that being said if you guys can relate to that in any way um, no matter what your lifestyle looks like a thing that helped us is I have these sheets of paper I actually use these every week um, this one is just a it just stays up on the board. We don't change it, but I use these sheets of paper every week that have the days of the week on it. And we took one of these. You obviously don't need this to do it. You could just write this on a piece of paper that doesn't have the dates or the days already on it. But we took each day of the week and we just tried to find little things to make traditions for that week to give us a sense of routine. And, oh, hi. Are you doing? Oh. Um, and we kind of thought of that idea because even just little things like for example I when we were discussing this I thought of Clayton's mom always goes on a walk with her friend Jennifer every Thursday I actually don't know if they still do it but she did that for years and it was a part of her life it was a part of her her routine and it was a really simple thing but it gave her something to look forward to every week that was social. It kept her connected to her friend. It was a way for her to move her body. I just thought it was such a simple thing, but that it had a lot of meaning in terms of what it could do for how you feel in your daily life routine wise. So just little things like that. So each day of the week, we just picked things that we could plug in there. And like I said, routine is something that is 
kind of ever-changing so if you need to take things away if you need to add things depending on your lifestyle and what's going on obviously that makes sense nothing is set in stone but I'll share a couple of things um, to give you guys inspiration maybe for your weeks if you want to add more routine oh also another reason why we decided to do this is because during quarantine in 2020 um, we had so much routine because we had absolutely nothing else to do. So Wednesdays we washed the sheets and watched Disney movies. Every morning we worked out in our kitchen. Um, what else did we do in quarantine? There was, I'm trying to think of other specific days for certain things. I can't really think of them right now, but it was just little things like that that really gave us the sense of routine that we ended up loving that was the most routine we ever had in our lives and that's when we realized how much we value routine so back to the little ideas we let's see how many days is that one two three four okay so i'm pretty sure we have an agreement wait one two three yeah I'm pretty sure we have an agreement to do a real workout or something that's not a walk three times a week and then go on a walk four times a week I think sometimes we might switch that and do a real workout four times a week and a walk three times a week we would just plug in on a couple of days a walk so on Monday we put a walk and pepper so just playing with the volleyball doing that just gives us a little something to look forward to and have fun doing moving our bodies it's playful it's it's a good thing to work on it's like a skill that you can get better at which I love and also wash the sheets every Monday because that was something that we were doing in quarantine on a specific day and we really liked that it was an easy thing to keep as a routine and it's a nice way to keep your bed fresh and clean which is amazing too so then on Tuesday we put on here a breakfast date so that means like going somewhere, getting breakfast, whatever, getting a smoothie, anything like that. Just a little breakfast date, something to look forward to every Tuesday. And a 30 minute stretch because stretching is not something that we prioritize and it's obviously so valuable and so important. So trying to work that into our routine as kind of a fitness wellness goal in there. And then a little bike ride. So if you guys don't know, Clayton has an electric bike and he put a seat on the back for me. So we'll just take rides around the neighborhood and look at the sunset or something, but it's a really nice feeling. It's very freeing and it kind of feels romantic. So that's a nice little thing to have in the routine, super simple. And then my water bottle, I don't even know where it is, but you guys obviously know the famous water bottle. Wash that on Tuesdays because I don't have like a normal schedule for washing that. I don't do it every night. I know I'm disgusting. Putting that on there is helpful for me. Wednesday we go on another walk and then we um, have an unboxing date of like going through packages and making sure we're all up to date with that and getting cleared out of having like a pile of packages in the garage and stuff so just keeping us up on upkeep I guess of work things and home things because when you work from home they bleed into each other and then a midweek recenter at the beach so kind of like a little date I guess you could say at the beach maybe just watch the sunset um, go on a beach walk whatever it is just a, a hump day recenter it's like the middle of the week we've been through some stuff we still got to go through some stuff let's collect ourselves at the ocean the most peaceful place ever Thursday we're hitting another walk and we're trying to make that walk a destination walk so instead of just walking out of our front door and going through the neighborhood, we are like trying to go to a park or um, go on like a hike or whatever, a destination walk, you know? And Thursday is also laundry day. Again, just like working things into this routine that help us stay on top of household things and work things and still give us that sense of routine while also doing things that are helpful to us that we need to be doing anyways. Friday is a backyard morning clean our backyard is so tiny if you guys have watched the vlogs for a while you you know what it looks like you know what we've done to it it's very cute we love her but we're the worst backyard parents it's literally smaller than our bedroom and we cannot it's smaller than our bathroom probably no it's not smaller than our bathroom but it's really small 
and we don't keep it clean like we're so bad we need to trim the hedge like every week we need to sweep we need to get all the leaves out of there we need to clean off the plaster we need to get the spider webs down it's a lot of maintenance and it's so small so that really freaks me out if we're gonna have a dog or something because like we cannot even take care of our backyard um but yeah making that a friday little morning thing it's nice to go outside do something for the house and keep things nice and clean and then pickleball we always played pickleball during quarantine times on fridays with drew and molly so trying to get back on that because that was a really lovely thing in the routine it was nice and social it was moving our bodies it was being outside it was hitting all the boxes and then washing my water bottle again on Fridays because I told you guys that was disgusting, but I'm trying to be not disgusting. And on Saturday, we're going to hit another walk because hot girls love walks. And a date night. Try to make a point of date night. Work in a little romance and relationship building in this routine too. And then Sunday is grocery shopping, which we're actually really good about. We've always been good about that because... It just keeps us on track so we come up with our menu and our grocery list every sunday and then go to the store and get all of that done and a one hour focus clean on sunday so something in the house just keeping it um nice and clean so if it's like a cabinet that we need to clean out or go through our closet or the garage you know those things that just pile up and stay on the back of your brain and your to-do list but you really need to do them trying to spend like one hour every Sunday focusing on something like that so that's what we have for now we will continue to add slash take away build on this but um I think it could be really helpful for you guys if any of you are feeling motivated to have more routine or structure or whatever it is um and the new year is a really good time for that too so hopefully that's helpful to you guys um that was a lot so I am just going to stop talking now and go plan our week um, with more specific things and not the broad things from the routine and just the things that apply to this week um, instead so I'm gonna go do that and if you guys want to hear more about that process like organizing a week not the routine but just organizing the week let me know because I can do more about that in a different video but yeah that's what we got for now so See you next week okay I lied I'm back really fast because I forgot part of that that I really wanted to tell you guys was um, working in those goals that we have for the for the new year is also gonna be important for this week's every week's organization so it's not gonna be on the routine but on the weekly organization I'm gonna try to section everything off based on our goals which I feel like can be really overwhelming because everything seems like a goal sometimes it's like okay we got to get money right we got to get eating right we got to get vitamins right we got to get skincare right we got to get beauty treatments right we got to get um content creation right we got like working right we have to get decorating our house right we have to get personal relationships and family and stuff right and it's like whoa this is a lot so I'm gonna try to be realistic about it and not get overwhelmed and just break things down based off of those overarching goals that are really important to me like decorating our house is something that we have said we're gonna work on as you guys know from this vlog so each week I'm gonna pick out things that we could do get done that week on like a house to-do list and then health and wellness is important to us so a to-do list for that would be like cooking four dinners at home that week or whatever it is working out five times that week whatever it is and then personal things too of course like journaling manifesting um, calling my mom seeing a friend whatever things like that are but kind of breaking it up into those categories so i'm finding balance in my life and not just getting everything done on my work to-do list but nothing on my personal to-do list i guess you could say so that's actually my last tip and now I'm fully, I'm fully out.